This season of Marginalized Murder, we dive into the case of the 51, the largest active serial murder mystery in the country. Over the course of 20 years, at least 51 women were strangled to death in the south and west side of Chicago. I speak with Thomas Hargrove, the founder of the Murder Accountability Project and the creator of the algorithm that cracked this case wide open. I mean, to have a apparent series of connected murders that is this large is very unusual. It hardly ever happens. We also meet some of the victim's family members, like Sharon Pritchard whose beloved sister Gwendolyn Williams was stolen from her by a killer who the Chicago DA refused to prosecute. He came up with all these reasons why we can't pull him, um, bring him up on charges. And I refuted every reason he came up with. Then there are community activists and local politicians like Reverend Hood and Senator Patricia Van Pelt, who fight to keep this case alive and bring answers to the heartbroken family members and friends left behind. One of the things the police were saying was that they couldn't get the DNA information from the state. That made us look at the state, and the state was that like they're not even requesting it. They're not requesting the DNA. Well, then we looked a little further. We, we saw they had over 10,000 cases where they had DNA evidence that they hadn't even tested. Join me as I investigate this compelling cold case, which is believed to be the work of multiple serial killers. A story with little momentum until the summer of 2021, when a tape from a convicted serial killer is unearthed. How do you connect the rage with these people that- They're, that they're random, know? they're random. All they do is take the wrong person to say something or it triggers something from my past. Help me try to find peace for the victims justice for the perpetrators, and to cast an eye of scrutiny on a system that overlooks marginalized victims living on the fringes. Tune in to Marginalized Murder and be a part of the change.